<sighs> hey guys, have you ever had a friend who came over your house, started taking out the white glove, wiping stuff down with the finger and showing you how filthy your house actually was? You thought it was clean, but they're showing you it's really filthy. I hope not because who needs friends like that, right? <laughs> But as for me, I have a new person or thing living in my house that is showing me exactly how filthy my house is. I thought, well, let's just be honest. I'll be the first one to tell you my house ain't never really all that clean. But seriously, I didn't know it was that filthy. But first, I got to reintroduce you to myself and the show because this is New Stuff TV, the untechnical tech channel. I'm your host, Antoine, five second rule on the floor, Richardson, because we are checking out this brand new Eufy X9 Pro ACS. Look at it, man. Just, just look at it. This right here is going to tell you how disgusting your floors actually are because it's got a lot of features that we need to dig in and cover. I'm going to take you into the lab so we can kind of pick this thing apart, but just, let's just go over a couple of things real quick. So first of all, this is the unit. I have it on the table. It's supposed to live on the floor so it can kind of go on the floor and do its thing. But before I take it out of its little base station here, I'm gonna lift this up and show you exactly how dirty my house is. Look, I'm exposing myself to you. Don't be talking about me in the comments. This is, this is dirt. This is dirty water from my house. Look at it. This is the dirty water basin. You fill up, let me take this one out. You fill up the clean water basin and you fill it to max there and it just kind of does its thing. It'll go in here, it'll suck water into the unit, go mop your floors and then come back here every 10, 15 minutes or so, wash the little mopping pads off and then it'll even dry them for you once it's actually done. That way you don't collect bacteria and stuff because it's, you know, it can be nasty in there. It'll dry it off for you and then it's ready for the next job. But as for now, we got to go to the lab and pick this thing apart because I want to tell you all about it. Even though it has exposed me, I, I, I kind of like it. I like it living in my house, cleaning things up for me. So let's go. This little housing right here, that's where the iPath laser navigation technology lives. And what that's gonna mean to you is it calculates the relative distance between itself and objects around it, such as walls, couches, and tables and stuff like that. That way it can clearly map out your house and get a, get, get a good sense of where it's actually gonna go for the next trip and where it needs to clean on the next trip and the trip that it's on. Right here on the button panel, this is something that could be important to a lot of people. In the center, you have your power button. On the right to that, you have your home or recharge button. On the left of that power button, you have your spot clean, which also doubles as a child lock. This means your toddler or your kid or even your pet can't just come accidentally hit spot clean or power on or, you know, recharge or anything like that. This thing's going to be totally safe, provided you've already engaged the child safety lock. Now let's get to some nitty gritty stuff. You see those little pads on the bottom there? Those are dual action mops. Yes, this thing will not only vacuum your floor, but it will also mop it at the same time. They're actually removable, so you can machine wash them if you really need to. But like I said earlier, the machine will actually wash and dry these pads itself. But if you wanna deep clean them, sure, take them off, throw them in the wash machine. You probably didn't notice this at first, but they got a pentagonal design. This means that there's gonna be less blind spots and they can cover more area because you got a corner here and then it rounds off and then you have another corner on the pad. That's, some, that's just one of those little things that you wouldn't think about just to cover more surface area while the thing is mopping. Now, I noticed in my house, it doesn't exactly go down the wall and mop the corner where the, where the floor meets the actual wall. It will leave a gap, but as it makes turns, these things do kind of bump out and they get that corner really well. Now, while these things are spinning at 180 RPMs, they do apply one kilogram of pressure downward while it's mopping. That means it's actually kind of scrubbing your floors. They're not just kind of, you know, sloshing fluids all over your floor. They're actually applying pressure to kind of scrub a little bit. All right, look at this right here. You see that right there? It says AIC technology. You see all these little like cameras? Is it a camera, a laser, and L I don't know what that is right there, but it's seeing stuff because it's AIC technology. Basically what this means is, as it goes through your house, it's looking out for objects, not necessarily walls and chairs and stuff like that. It's always gonna be finding that kind of stuff. But what I did was I placed two tennis balls in my living room and it completely avoided them. Now, if you're anything like me, I've had this, this problem once where my dog decided that I guess I left him at home too long by himself and he left me a package on the floor. And this is with my old vacuum. <laughs> he left me a package on the floor. The vacuum took off, started doing vacuum business, and it decided to run 
the package all over the house because it couldn't avoid it because it didn't have AIC technology. That is gonna prevent these little disasters when you get home and you have a whole hour's worth of cleanup to do. I, I kinda just wanted to burn my whole house down and start over. That's pretty much where that left me. Now here's the really cool part. This thing has so much AI technology built into it. It knows when it's on a hard surface, which it can actually mop, and when it's on carpet. So these pads right here, they have 12 millimeters of travel. That's 12 millimeters of up and down travel. So when it actually detects that it's on carpet, they raise up, it's just And then when it detects that it's on the floor again, they'll actually drop down and apply that pressure. And just for reference, most of the products out there that I've checked that are like this one, they only have about 10 millimeters worth of travel. So that means you can actually have a higher level of carpet and you won't be scraping up these pads up against your carpet, tracking on like foreign debris that was from your floor. Now it's on your carpet. Nope, you got extra travel. That means you're gonna have cleaner carpet. But at the end of the day, it is an automated vacuum. So I know most of you came here with really just one question in mind. But does it suck though? Yeah, man. And the proof is right here in the waste bin. Let me pull this out. Dust bin removed. Now, here we go, man. I told you I'm exposing how dirty and filthy my house is. Let's, let's just move this out of the way. All right, here we go. So this is, this is a combination of things that are in my house. Oh, let me, let me go get a napkin. Now, I want to let you know that my floor was already clean to my standards. This thing actually went through there and found even more dirt. It has a smaller waste bin, but it really compacts all the filth in there. I see some of my dog hair in there, a little bit of my wife's hair. I think I see a pistachio nut shell. There's just, just some nasty stuff going on in my floor, dude. It's, it's, it's really embarrassing. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. But then you have your filter right here and it's actually behind a, a little plastic plate and you can just wash that off or tap it out and just re, uh, you can actually keep reusing it. But it also has another filter on the inside of here that you can wash out if you want to as well. So let's just close. You know what? I can't close. I cannot take this back home with me. Let's, let's just dump it right here. So now that you've seen all the dirt in my house, let me just put this back in here where it's supposed to go. And then she's going to tell me. Inserted. Dustbin is inserted. She is ready to go again. That's, it's a lady, it's a lady's voice. Let's flip it back over and show you these rolling blades right here. So this is something I haven't really seen on other vacuums as well. I hope you can actually see this. This is not the actual brush. This is like a set of mini brushes. Let me back you up a little bit. This is a set of mini brushes that kind of just pick up even more debris. So you have these two little mini brushes right here that are stuck on here that don't move. And then you have this roller brush right here that can actually come off and you just set that in just like that, drop it in and it's an easy disassembly and assembly. And then you have, of course, your side brush, which is going to get your, your corners and your walls and stuff like that. So after two full cleanings in my house, I can say that this thing does pick up a lot more dirt obviously than my current or older vacuum does or did uh, i'm very satisfied with what it's done in my house exposing me to the world but what i did notice is that and the transition pieces between my wood, my wood flooring and my tile in my bathroom, my older vacuum was starting to get stuck just on the transition and it would just be kind of just sitting there all cockeyed. This one actually, it's like an off-road vehicle. This one has a lot more travel and it doesn't get stuck in those same spots. As a matter of fact, it hasn't gotten stuck at all. And because of that iPath navigation and the AIC technology built in, it doesn't get lost while it's trying to go home. In fact, if you open up the app, you can see that you can actually program this thing to either do just vacuuming or just mopping or a combination of both. You can also go deeper into those settings and tell it to actually go rinse the mop 10 minutes after it's been mopping. So it'll mop your floor and vacuum for 10 minutes and then it'll go wash and you know uh, clean up the little pads for after 10 minutes and then come back out and finish the job. And every 10 minutes it goes back to the base station, it cleans itself up and then goes back out to work again until your whole house is clean. So in my opinion, it's actually earned this mop master badge they put on the back of it. Look, man, I'm no expert in this kind of stuff, but what I do know is I might be able to use the five second rule if I drop some food in my house. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know if I'm that secure just yet. But either way, y'all keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you. 